My name is Lucas and I know absolutely nothing about lasers. But with that said, my new friends over at EM Smart are so confident that even a total beginner such as myself will still enjoy their dual 20 watt laser. So they were so kind to provide this machine for free in exchange of me just recording an honest review video. Now around after one month of playing around and at least pretending to be a laser engraver. But in order to make a proper review about this specific laser, I think we all just need to understand the entire world and workflow of a laser engraving in a little bit more detail. So if you're already familiar with terms such as a light burn and the difference between a fiber and diode and CO2 laser, you can just jump to this chapter right here since that is when we will talk a little bit more about this EM Smart dual 20 watt laser. But if you just like myself just a few weeks ago have absolutely no idea about laser engraving or why you would even need a laser engraver in the first place then please continue watching and I will try to bring everyone up to speed. We can spend an entire week just talking about all the differences between like a photo, a PNG file, a JPEG file and an SVG file and drag that into the program that communicates with this laser engraver. Kind of like the Bamboo Studio but for laser engravers. And in the sake of EM Smart and this specific dual laser that program is called Lightburn or EC CAD. This is a paid software but if you are purchasing your own EM Smart dual laser you actually get a license to Lightburn for free, which is actually worth over 200 USD just with that single license. And again, please keep in mind that this is my absolute first experience with laser engravers myself. So it is very hard for me to actually compare this laser with some other lasers, especially when it comes to my own experience. However, what I can say after my countless of hours of research, the type of laser matters way more than the actual strength of the laser. First off, we have something called a gantry laser, which has a moving head over whatever item you do want to engrave or cut. These kind of laser engravers are generally speaking quite slow, but they do cover just a massive area. And then we have this Galvo laser style with a fixed laser head, but movable mirrors that makes the laser go wherever you want it to go, basically. Uh, just like this EM Smart Dual Laser. That makes this kind of Galvo laser extremely fast, but also much better for like finer details such as barcodes, QR codes, fine text, smaller logos, and also some very, very detailed images. But the general main downside for this kind of lasers in general is that it, the laser is fixed in one place, which also makes the working area generally much smaller. And then once we finally figure out what kind of laser moving system that best suits our needs, then it's time to decide on the actual laser. And this is where things might start to actually get a little bit complicated. Because I thought if you do want to engrave different materials, it is all based on the overall power of the laser. For example, if I do want to engrave on some cardboard boxes, I just need a 5 watt laser. But if I do want to engrave on some metal or maybe some slate coasters, I do need a more powerful laser such as 10, 15 or maybe 20 watts. So not the case. A diode laser might uh, mostly be referred to as the beginner friendly laser, mainly because it's just more budget friendly. And it also is great for natural materials, such as for example, wood, paper, cardboard, uh, and even slate like these slate coasters. And then if we take one more step up from the diode laser, we have something called a fiber laser. Fiber can actually engrave on metal and more harder items such as these metal business cards. And then last but not least, and uh, the most complicated one I think, is the CO2 laser, which actually have real tubes of CO2 gas that somehow makes a laser, so I don't know if it's more powerful than the other ones but it just feels more powerful because it's like larger and it has like this actual like gas and since this CO2 lasers are just amazing at cutting especially when it comes to wood and even acrylic plates which uh, neither the diode or the fiber laser can do these CO2 lasers are generally speaking these uh, larger items and uh, not necessarily that hobby centric uh, I think, at least that's like the, the impression that I have uh, after doing at least a few weeks of research on different lasers. 
So now we're all finally caught up to speed and now every one of us know everything we need to know in order to start our own laser engraving, either business or hobby, all on our own. And now it's finally time to dig into this EM Smart Dual Laser in a little bit more detail. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I didn't know anything about laser engraving when EM Smart reached out to me and talked about this dual laser. So I just assumed that the dual laser has two lasers, but that are printing the same thing at the same time just to make my engravings or my cutting twice as fast. So not the case. <laughs> Turns out that the 20 watt dual laser refers to having two 20 watt different lasers one diode laser and then a separate 20 watt fiber laser. Future Lucas here, uh, let's change this up a bit. I was planning on showing you all the different features and functions of Lightburn in a little bit different way. But it turns out that if you watch my previous videos, you remember that I recently got a huge order of 100 Taiwanese bears. It uh, turns out they, they also want a little bit of a personalized message on the back of one of these metal cards inside of all these boxes. So on one side, we do have my logo, my QR code and my URL web address. And then this other backside will be a personalized message for this uh, client's customers. So I thought, let's just show you this entire process of how I actually created these specific metal business cards with my logo, QR code and URL straight in Lightburn with this dual laser. So here we are in the middle of Lightburn. We are gonna go in here and we're gonna take my little logo and then we're just gonna very quickly adjust it to somewhat of a manageable size, putting it right there in the middle. And we do actually have a QR code generator in Lightburn under tools, under create barcode. We can choose which specific type of barcode we want. If we want a QR code or if you want one of all the other kinds of codes there possibly are. Uh, but we do want a QR code that goes to www.thetaiwanshop.tw. Definitely worth a visit if you are in Taiwan. And after a uh, way too long time of arranging all the, the sizes and the, the distances, uh, we do have a somewhat of a design that I do want eventually to engrave on my business cards. And again, this is the more manual part when you basically just need to find the best combination between speed and power for your specific printer and your specific material that you are using. However, when you have found that perfect combination, you can then save that in your material library. So for example, I do have three products right here. One is for metal business card engraving, one is for slate coaster engraving, and the third one is for wood coaster engraving. So we're just going to take the metal business card engraving and then we're going to assign it and we see that apparently my preferred settings is 1000 millimeter per second and a power of 80. And as you might be able to hear, we do have an integrated fan in this laser engraver as well, which turn on automatically as soon as you turn on the engraver. And then we put a business card right here in the middle. And the only thing I need to do in order to focus this laser is to just press up and down, moving technically the actual laser head up and down. But the only thing I actually care about right now is to just line up these two red dots, which tells us that we are in focus. So whatever we do want to engrave will become as clear as possible. And now we should be in focus. But of course we can be more precise than this. And in Lightburn here, we do have a frame function which will show me right here on the physical laser uh, exactly where things will be engraved and not. And of course we can also see that here on my computer since we do have the webcam going on here as well. And then we are going to turn this down and then we are going to press start. And now we should have 
I have to say very, very nice, the Taiwan shop.tw business card. And since we are all uh, 3D printers, I decided to 3D print my own jig uh, for these business cards specifically. If you do want this specific version that is customized for EM Smart Dual Laser Engraver, uh, you do have my personalized uh, EM Smart Dual Business Card jig here as well, which again, I just put here in the corner and then I just fill up my six business card here super fast. And then of course, uh, in Lightburn, we do have a special version here already done with uh, six different of these uh, business card layouts. And that's literally all you need to do in order to just start an entire new product and an entire new uh, laser engraving workflow. But then now it's already saved in Lightburn. So then the next time, especially since I already have this jig here, uh, all I have to do is to just load in the jig. If I want to print out the exact same uh, thing, I just print it out there and I have everything already saved. And if I do want to get a completely new kind of material, uh, for example, these slate coasters, I just have to find that uh, special combination between speed and power once, and then I do have everything saved and I just need to press print or engrave or start or whatever it's called. Uh, and then I can basically create whatever I want whenever I want, and then add that to my already existing 3D printing business. But maybe we're jumping a little bit ahead now. So let's go back to this specific uh, dual laser. But before we continue, I just wanted to let you know that EM Smart has already updated their product lineup with two new versions of this dual laser. First, we have the SE version, which has the exact same power as the product I'm featuring in this video, but with a smaller 150 times 150 millimeter working area. And then the dual 2, which has been upgraded with a 30 watt MOPA laser, which means that you can now even do color laser engraving as well and of course all the other features I am talking about in this video. And for even more information regarding these two new EM Smart lasers, go and check out their website after you've finished the rest of this video. And the overall installation process of this EM Smart laser as well is also super straightforward. Just literally like removing it from the box and you're ready to start engrave in almost minutes, but if it is your first time setting up a laser engraver, there might be a little bit more step-by-step -step manual installations in order to actually sync Lightburn with this specific laser engraver. But thankfully EM Smart, of course, has a quick start instruction manual, which will literally give you step-by-step -step instructions on every single value you need to put into Lightburn in order to like calibrate it for your specific laser. So overall, it is a little bit more manual process than to just like sync a 3D printer wirelessly with your phone or something like this. But with the, the quick start help, it is definitely not a complicated process. You just need to follow like all the different steps and you have everything set up exactly like at least EM Smart thinks you should have it set up. And when it comes to the overall size, uh, I don't know actually if this size is considered small or big when it comes to like laser engravers. Again, this is the first experience that I have and, and I don't know if that is the case or not. But coming from like a 3D printing world, I would say that this compact size is absolutely amazing. And it's basically the size of like a Bamboo Lab A1. EM Smart also have a smoke purifier, which uh, you have the same uh, vent connection here in the back. So you just put the pipe between the laser engraver and this smoke purifier, which makes this perfect solution to run even indoors in a not greatly ventilated room. For example, a spare bedroom in the middle of a Taipei apartment. This setup, even if you're using it indoors, works great as long as you're not using wood or cardboard. My products of choice are slate coasters and these metal business cards. So uh, I don't really have a problem with this myself, but I try to do this indoors, even with this smoke purifier. And this is a smoke purifier. This is not a magical smoke remover. This is a, a rental apartment and I really do want to get my deposit back when we are moving out to a hopefully bigger, more suitable apartment or, or maybe even a house early next year. And then 
I would have no problem whatsoever to run this indoors, but uh, not a perfect setup or just not enough of a setup in order to have this in a non-ventilated room in a rental apartment. But again, that is also not something that EM Smart claims to this machine to do. And no one would recommend you to start a laser engraver in business from a small rental apartment spare bedroom. And thanks to the very small and compact design, I just put this uh, laser engraver on a, a roll table, like a table with wheels, and I just like move it out on my balcony. I do a, a batch of a few boxes or a few like wooden coasters, and uh, then I just roll it back in again. So to summarize, not only like my first month with this EM Smart 20 watt dual laser, but just as as starting a laser engraving business in general. I have to say, since my entire 3D printing adventure started from the point of view of making products to sell to my already existing YouTube channel uh, audience, if I would have known about EM Smart six months ago when I started 3D printing, I honestly think that I would have purchased a laser engraver like this one instead of a 3D printer. Not only is it just so much easier to make like customized designs using like, you know, ChatGPT, Nano Banana, whatever you want. It is also so much faster to just like produce the items and you could literally do it like the same day. You receive an order and then you just like load anything into like Lightburn, you press like print compared to spending like literally weeks to like learn proper 3D design if you do want to have something like very specific like in my case like some some Taiwanese uh, specific items that just doesn't exist on like Maker World and if they do they will not be available for like commercial license. Now obviously I cannot guarantee that you will start making money with your laser engraver but I can guarantee you that I will continue to maybe make even more videos about uh, laser engraving in general here on the channel if that is something that you're interested in but also just create more design for my own personal uh, business and my up until now 3D printing business that will become a 3D printing slash laser engraving business. Uh, and if that is something that you're interested in to see how that goes long term, please do remember to subscribe to this channel. And if you do want to know more about EM Smart and specifically this 20 watt dual laser, please also check out all the links down in the description. You of course have a lot more information on EM Smart's website. My name is Lucas. It starts with Alice and like, ends with S and subscribe. Please do both. And see y'all in the next one.